What's up everyone? Chris with B minus demos here and today we're talking about rats. Before we jump into this, I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. If you're new, please do the YouTube thing, subscribe, like the video, turn on the notification bell, share it. If you've been here for a while, if you're coming back and you haven't done any of those things yet for whatever reason, do, uh, you know, please do that. It doesn't take but a few seconds and it really, really helps me out. My favorite drive circuit of all time is the rat. That includes any overdrive, distortion, buzz, anything. But it hasn't always been that way. Used to, I would hear rats, and because of the context that they were used in, it just wasn't my thing. I actually thought they sounded pretty bad based on how a lot of people were using them. I would often hear kind of 80s metal guys talking about how the rat was all you needed, and I'm like, if those guys are into it, it's not going to be my thing. Then probably around maybe 2016, 2017, uh, I was watching uh, Premier Guitars Rig Rundown with Thrice. And I believe they were on tour for To Be Everywhere Is To Be Nowhere at the time, and I had been loving that album. I loved the guitar tones they were getting from it, and so as soon as I saw that dropped, I was super psyched about it. As they were going through Dustin Kensrue's, uh guitar rig, one of the things that he had on his board was the Walrus Audio Iron Horse, which is their version of the classic LM-308 rat style circuit. Learning that that was a huge part of a tone that I was really, really digging at the time, I started to give them another consideration. And I was lucky enough at the time, I happened to own one of the Boss Katanas that had a rat built into it. Honestly, the rat very quickly became my favorite drive in the Boss Katana ecosystem. Over the years, as my rig changed, whether it was a physical rig or a digital rig, I would always look for some version of a rat that I could use. And honestly, even a lot of the digital versions were good enough for me. Then a few years ago, I got this, the 1312 from Black Mass, and my love of rats absolutely exploded. So today, we're going to take a look at a bunch of rats. Uh, this is not necessarily a versus or a comparison or anything like that, but it's more... Each one of these is a little different than the other. And so if I had them on my pedal board, how would I run them? Now, a lot of them, there are multiple ways that I would run them, just depending on the you know circumstance, the kind of music I'm playing and stuff like that. But we're going to go primarily, if I had this pedal on my board, how would I run it? So this isn't a comparison. This is a, if you like a rat, there's a point of entry for you regardless of what your budget is. Let's go ahead and get into these sounds.
Rat to me is a super versatile pedal. The ones that I have, a lot of them have several different modes on them, including the 1312, which has a lot of clipping options. You have some that really approach that fuzz territory a little more, some that are a little more aggressive, but maybe have a, a roundness and a smoothness that a lot of them don't have, like the Smear More. Or you have ones that kind of sit at the milder side of that circuit, which for me is the Pine Box Motel. But another good example of that is the uh, 1981 DRV. So look, that's it for this week, guys. I really appreciate you hanging out. I know I do a lot of videos about the rat circuit, and I just thought maybe it'd be a little fun to kind of go through some, let you guys know what got me into that. Uh, let you know what I like about it and give you a few examples of what they can sound like. Um, this isn't the last one. You're going to keep seeing them in my videos. Uh, I have one coming right now that I'm super psyched about. Uh, anyhow, listen, I hope you guys have an amazing week. Later.